Hi everyone, welcome to Fuku Mathematics and today we have this to solve x squared plus x squared equals 16. Remember we are solving this completely and by looking at this, how many solutions do you think we are going to meet from here? We are expected to meet four solutions. Why? Because if you expand what we have here, you're going to have um, the highest power of four. So because of that, you're expected to have four solutions. Now let's break it down and see what we are going to have. Okay. The first attempt, the first step is to remove this square. So we have x plus x squared plus x squared right to remove that square we'll have to take the square root of everything then we have to take the square root of 16 but plus or minus on the right the next step this goes with this then we have x squared plus x being equal to plus or minus the square root of 16 is 4 now, we have to take note of this equation because we are having two signs here. One is going to be one equation is going to be positive and the other equation will be negative. So let's work with the positive one first. x squared plus x equals 4, right? Remember, I will get back here to deal with this. Okay, now this is a quadratic equation I'll bring um, 4 to the left x squared plus x minus 4 equals 0 okay so let's solve this and then we move ahead to the next now what do we do let's use the formula for this right for the formula a is 1 I believe everybody knows that a is the coefficient of x squared right then our b is also 1, the coefficient of x. And then what is our c? c is minus 4, the, the constant. And then the equation is, I mean the quadratic general formula is x equals, we have minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a okay now let's put these values into this formula so that x becomes minus 1 because b is 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared which is going to be 1 squared now minus 4 times 1 times c our c is minus 4 then everything is over 2 multiplied by 1 so if we go ahead now we are going to have our x to be equal to minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared is 1 minus 4 times 1 times 4 Okay, by the way, minus times minus is plus, that is positive. 4 times 1 times 4, that will be 16. Then we divide this by 2. Okay, so we go ahead and then we get our x to be minus 1 plus or minus. Look at the likely mistake that some students will make. 1 is perfect and 16 is also perfect. They would be tempted to take the square root of 1 before taking the square root of 16. And then they will now have 1 plus 4, and that is wrong. Okay, you have to add these two before you find the square root. And that will be 17. Then we divide by 2. Although 17 is no longer a perfect square, right? But then we can press calculator to get this decimal, or you continue solving leaving this in the third form now our x is going to be minus 1 plus 
square root of 17 over 2, right? I've picked the positive, then I'll pick the negative here now, or minus 1 minus the square root of 17 divided by 2. So from here, we already have two solutions. Okay, now we will now go back to the other equation which we left out. Look at it here. We're going to pick this equation, but this time around, we are going to use minus 4 on the right hand side. So let's go there. Okay, so this is what we have now. And um, bring this to the left. x squared plus x plus 4 equals 0. What again can I do? We, going, we are going to use the formula again. a is still 1 b is still 1 and our c this time around is 4 before the c was negative 4 right what is the formula can you recall the formula okay if you cannot the formula is x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 ac then you divide by 2 times a quadratic general formula or um, the general formula for quadratic equation now our x is going to be minus 1 plus or minus because b is 1 right the square root of 1 squared minus 4 times um, 1 times 4 then we divide this by 2 times 1 to go ahead now, we are going to have our x to be minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 16. 4 times 1 times 4. Then we divide this by 2. If we go ahead now, our x is going to be minus 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 15 divided by 2. Right, and this means that x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus, we have i root 15. I've picked out the negative and I got i for that. Then we divide this by 2. Now, what again should we do? This is plus or minus. We can split this into 2. So x will now be minus 1 plus i root 15. I'm using root 15 because... 15 is not a perfect square. Divide by 2. Or we have minus 1 minus i root 15 divide by 2. So from here again, we have two more solutions. Okay, so thank you for watching. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe so you can always have access to my videos.